daughter. I'm gonna make up a daughter. But I'm gonna do it a little bit different as I normally do. Because I'm gonna add some different things. This has got asparagus and ham in it, and um I think it's got tomato in it and red Leicester cheese. So I'm gonna do some spinach, spring onion, quinoa. Oh, I just dropped an egg. <laughs> so quinoa, and I picked up um a pound this was in Lidl's, one pound and five p. Some lemon parsley smoked mackerel fillets. So I'm going to put that in there as well. And I've got some chickpeas for a little bit of bite. Some paprika, virgin oil, pepper and some Himalayan salt. And a onion. Three eggs. And some sesame seeds. So. And a cup of coffee. To start with, what you're going to want to do is get yourself a nice frying pan and a bowl. So there's my bowl. And just get my pan out. Of course, as per usual, I'm not ready. But I'm going to use like a deep wok pan. Hopefully, that will work because I want it to be quite deep uh, rather than just a skinny little frying pan so I'm going to spray my wok with some oil and then I'm going to give it a wipe with some kitchen towel so it's all nice and oiled like so then whisk and in my bowl I'm going to be adding my eggs where's my recipe let's get my recipe so you need to whisk your three eggs in a bowl and these are medium sized eggs obviously if you've only got small then add another one in there give that a whisk You might be able to sit better. I'll do it there. Yeah, I think you see that a bit better. I'm going to um, chop a small onion ish. I've got these knives yesterday as well, so they are living sharp. <laughs> so, hopefully, I won't have any accidents. Oh, not on live. You're so careful, aren't you? bought two knives. Lidl's are doing knives at the moment. Two for a fiver. Um, so I've got that one and then I've got a bigger one which is this one. They came as a pack and then the other one which I've kept for the caravan um, was a bread knife. Um, and you get two for a fiver and they're really good knives. So I can recommend them and they've got the little um, cover keep them protected so they don't go blunt and also you don't have any accidents when you put your hand in the drawer right give that another little spray I'm just going to turn that down a little bit but it's smoking shut the door there we go so that's my onion and then I'm going to add my butter beans. And I'm not going to put in loads and loads. But just three dessert spoons. I 
pastel. A little bit of pepper, not a lot because I've already got my mackerel, um, which is <coughs> peppered. So I'm not going to put too much pepper in. Now I'm going to open up my mackerel. So I've got my mackerel, I've just opened it up, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the back skin off because I don't want that. So I'm going to peel that off. And if you haven't done it before, it is really easy to do. You literally just get hold of it and just pull that off. How pretty is that? It's really pretty, isn't it? So there you go. So that's simple to do. I'll do the other one. And there shouldn't be any bones in this. This will be um, filleted and boned. And then I'm just going to get my knife and just chop through those fillets like that. Pop those in my pan. Like so. Let's get rid of this. Just wipe my hands. And then, with the spring onion, I'm going to put that in at the last minute, but I'm just going to put like the top. It's not one lot. I know a lot of people throw this out, but there's nothing wrong with it. So I've just chopped up the tops, quite large, and I shall pop those in at the end. And then I've got some paprika. God, you can never get into these things, can you? I know it's nice that it doesn't go everywhere when you're taking it home, but... They are a bit of a pain, aren't they, to get into when you get home. Jason's been looking at his van. So a little bit of paprika, making a crunching noise. He's just come in to tell me the brake pad's gone. So he needs to get some more. So that's our little blue van. We've got like a little blue and white van, which we take our mountain bikes in. So um, that's off the road now for a little while. Never mind. We've still got two other vehicles. <laughs> we are a family of many vehicles. Right, so let's get a little spoon. Just going to turn this up a little bit now. There we go. And I'm going to add my eggs in a minute. So I've got my onions, uh, my butter beans and paprika, a bit of salt, a tiny bit of pepper and my uh, mackerel in there. Looking lovely. Just warm that through and I'll come back to you in a minute. So that's now nicely cooked through and I'm just going to add my spring onion tops to that. And I've got some um, baby spinach which has all been washed and ready to go. So I'm just going to wilt some of that in there. There we go. And I'm just going to put a little bit more seasoning on top of the salt. that spinach wilt down and then I'm going to add my eggs. I've got my grill on high in readiness and then what we're going to do, we're going to have this um, uh, for lunches over the next couple of days while at work and I'm going to make some soup as well so we'll have a nice slice of this with a nice big um, cup of soup and I've got these um, these soup cups that are quite good um, that you can reheat in the microwave and take them to work excellent they are really good for homemade soups or even you know like the Weight Watchers soups putting some of that in there out of the can 
and um, warming that through if you haven't got time to make your own. But to be honest, if you've got a soup kettle, it is so quick and easy. Right, so that's all now nicely wilted down like so. And I'm going to add my eggs. I'm going to pull my eggs all over. down a little bit and then I just want to cook it for a couple of minutes and then what I'll do is finish it off on top before I do that I'm just going to add my quinoa on top and a little bit of sesame seed for some crunch There we go. And a little bit of paprika. There we go. So, I think I'm probably going to need a spatula. If I can find the linen thing. I'm always losing it. Oh no, there you go. Hello. Just checking the grill. Yeah, that's heating up nicely. to make it doesn't take long it's just like making a big omelette really so I'm going to let that base cook for a little bit longer because it is quite thick in the middle and then I'm going to pop it under the grill and then we should try and get it out of the wok so that'll be interesting. <laughs> right, so I'm going to get it under the grill now and I'll come back to you in a minute. Right, so I've just got it out of the, um, under the grill and there it is and it's glory. And I just now need to try and plate it. So, wish me luck. I think going to try and ease it out a little bit from underneath there we go and uh, we have it voila one for a tartar now that does need to sort of like set go cold I think it's better if it's like that personally um, and I think it holds its form a lot better as well if it's nice and um, cold like that. But I will try a little bit for you. So let me just get my knife. Now this is a cheeseless frittata. I haven't put any cheese in this one. So let's cut. Let's cut a proper slice then you can see it properly. There we go. You can see all that salmon, salmon, fish and spinach going on down there. So, let's pretty it up a bit. Take that bit out. See inside. There you go. So I'm just going to take a quick pick and then I shall do a test. Right, so I've got my picture. Just gonna cut a piece now and try it for you. Might be a bit hot. Mmm. Mmm mmm mmm. Cool. That is blooming lovely. I'm not just saying that, but that's a really nice combination. That um, lemon parsley mackerel, the butter beans make it creamy and the quinoa makes it really crunchy. And then you've got the spring onions, a little bit of crunch. 
really nice. I wish you could taste it. Because honestly, it's lovely. It's lovely, Kim. <laughs> it's lovely. Very nice. Mmm. You're not having any. It's too good for you. Sorry about that. Anyway, if you fancy making that, that is really tasty. You will not be disappointed. You know, experiment. That's what, you know, keeping it interesting and experimenting in the kitchen makes it fun and exciting. And, you know, if you don't feel up to experimenting, then, you know, that you've always got this, so you can stick with this. But if you've got other stuff in your cupboard, don't go out and buy it. Use what you've got, you know, and you'll be surprised. You really will. That is delicious really delicious and I wish I could invite you all round to come and have a try have a little taste of yourselves <laughs> if you live in North Devon pop round <laughs> anyway if you enjoyed this little short video give us a thumbs up and subscribe and catch me next time ta-da